Heartwarming. Chimpanzee caged for 28 years sees open sky for the first time in Florida. This is the book of Proverbs 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. A heartwarming video shows the moment a chimpanzee survivor of a grizzly laboratory experiment program saw the sky in her new home for the first time. Vanilla was greeted by a big hug from alpha male Dwight as she took in her new surroundings, a three-acre island. Dwight and Vanilla have a playful relationship and she even steals food from him. The 29-year-old chimp was once a victim of the Laboratory for Experimental Medicine and Surgery in Primates, or LEMSIP, in New York. LEMSIP once housed around 300 chimps and another 300 monkeys before it was closed down in 1996. Chimps like Vanilla were denied outdoor access and kept in small cages, according to advocates for the Animal Project. Primatologist Dr. Andrew Halloran told the New York Post that the new enclosure was a big improvement on what Vanilla had experienced before she moved to Florida. Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahashai, Ba'ashim, Rakakudash. I'm the brother, Tazamakamath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. Peace and citation to the whole folk that scatter abroad. And as you see, it says chimpanzee caged for 28 years sees open sky for first time in Florida. Okay, you got to remember, we're under captivity. Not only the Israelites, but these animals. These animals are oppressed. These animals going through, you know, captivity and oppression. All right, chimpanzee caged for 28 years. Okay. <laughs> you know, imagine that as soon as you uh, you're young, you just in a jail, you just in a cell for 28 years. You don't see no sky, no air. I mean, no, no, you know, nature, man. All right, and these are chimpanzees. These are monkeys. Okay, they're they're always on the trees and stuff like that. You know, hey, but you know, this also correlates to us as a nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, because hey, we're in captivity. We're caged under this devil. Okay, and it's been years upon years that we're under oppression and captivity under this devil. All right, but soon enough, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to come. And and I best believe Yahweh Bashim Shai is coming very, very quickly, man. Especially with these prophecies that are happening. You know, MOTB being um, pushed, CBDC being pushed. You know, it's all it's only a matter of time till things get mandated. And, and the train starts rolling. All right, but I want to show this video, you know, to y'all brothers and a um, few sisters that are out there that, that we're not only, we're not the only people under oppression, but these animals. Esau, he goes, hunts animals. All right, he hunts elephants, deers, you know, being that cunning hunter that he is, you know, he caged animals for experiments, for his scientific experiments and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's let's bring the scripture out. You know, I just want to touch this. Uh, I just want to touch this topic real quick. All right, but this is uh Proverbs twenty nine and two. It says, "When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn." All right, and not only the people are mourning, but these people because. The wicked is ruling. The wicked is the one that's that's ruling this earth. All right. Do you do you see, you know, animals, you know, freely outside? No, you still see violence in the air. You still see, you still see Esau hunting, skinning, skinning the animals. All right. Do you breathe clean air? No. Do we know what pure water tastes like? No, because this devil destroys the earth. 
You know, he destroys ecosystems. He destroys endangered animals. Okay? He's the one that makes them endangered. Okay? He's the one that, that makes them extinct. Okay? Because of this devil. Alright? Let's grab this. Revelation 11 and 18, right? And it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. Okay, and this is the same devil that destroys this earth, and the person I'm talking about is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, when you go right here, Job 9 and 24, and it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, so the earth, as we know it, this rulership that we live under is under the wicked. Okay, that's why the wicked, you know, he, he has people mourning. You know, you paying taxes. You don't drink, you know, clean water. You don't eat good food. You you and uh, you inhale toxic air. Okay, that's why people are getting sick. Okay, because guess what? He set of himself up as God, send the temple to God, think he is God. Okay, because this devil has power. The Lord gave this man power. Hey, but guess what? His pride is reaching reaching higher and higher. But it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked that covered the face of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who else could it be but Esau Edom? Esau is the same man that's destroying the earth. The same man whose face is on the money. Okay. This is Job 30 and 8. It says, they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men, they were viler than the earth, you know, and, and these devils having, you know, these devils having power, you know, hey, they treat animals as experiments, you know, the people as experiments, you see that when, and back in 2020, 2021, okay, how they was pushing, you know, the yabba dabba do upon the people, upon, they push fear upon the people to take it. And guess what? They said, oh, y'all were all just a test experiment to see how this thing would go. All right, but for for a chimp to stay caged for 28 years, sees open sky for the first time in Florida. You know, hey, that's, that's a long time, man. See, we're not the only people under oppression. You know, uh, let's actually grab this in Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of, Tom, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 1, it says, For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. All right? And you and if you, like, study nature, okay, you notice that, you know, animals, especially animals like birds, you know, they have, this, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah is within them. Okay, they, they notice danger when it comes, when it's approaching. Okay, they notice it, man. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to grab sun, slip, let slip right across my mind, you know. But you can see, you know, not only us, but these animals are going through it. All right. I also seen another video where you know the Esau had you know the uh the or the orca whale, the killer whale, you know just in the just in the pond, bro, <laughs> with nobody for like years. Okay, this is the oh that's the scripture I wanted to grab. Uh, oppression.
It's Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay? And if you're not if you're not mad right now, you not you you must not be oppressed enough. Okay? Every That's Israelite from we live and work in the communities we serve. Every Israelite in America should be oppressed, man. Okay, and if you you feel like you're not oppressed, you feel like this devil, you know, is not against you. You got another thing coming, man. Okay, you should be oppressed here. You got to pay taxes. You got to wake up to an alarm clock. You have to pay bills. But see, the Lord had put His Spirit, you know, upon you know the men, you know, that's in this truth, in truth and sincerity, you know, to see. To have the eyesight to see that we're oppressed under this devil. Okay? And we are surely angry each and every day. We're vexed each and every day being under this devil. Okay? And we see, hey, we're mad. But we also know that we have to be patient. Okay? That's why verse 8 says, Better is the end of the... Uh, it says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Right? Okay? The Lord, you know, hey, he always shows, you know... You see in these movies, they always show the ending in the beginning. Okay, because better is the end than the beginning. See, hey, we're coming at to the end of this thing, man. We're coming to the end of this captivity, of this oppression, of this nightmare. You know? But see, Esau, when he, once he go down, there's no, there's no, you know, he's not going to come up, come back up ever again. We're going to rule forever that's why the lord says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof okay then you read in uh second ezra it tells you how jacob held the heel of esau all right esau is the end of a thing okay the heel is at the end okay but jacob's hand was at it's at the top it's in the beginning okay let's actually see if i can grab it so i just calling it Second Ezra is six. All right, Second Ezra six and nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world." All right, end of the age. Okay, we live in the age of a base man, in the age of the caveman. All right, the, we're we're in the age of the devil, the wicked. Okay, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, Jacob meaning prince of the power, Israel. Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which means Yasharala, prince of the power. Right, it says the hand of a man is betwixt the heel of the and the hand. All right, so when Jacob came out the womb, he was holding the heel of Esau, which represents, you know, Esau getting pulled out of power. That's why the Lord says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Okay, hey, we got to be patient in this thing. It's all about longevity and patience and endurance. Okay, hey, we're not going to get it tomorrow. We're not going to get it. No, we got to wait on the Lord's time. This is the Lord's movie and the way he orchestrated it. Okay, but this is a, uh, uh let's see if I can just play through this. And we're committed to bringing you the best internet, TV, and mobile services because, well, we count on them too. We're Spectrum, connecting the places we all call home. All right, and you can see that, hey, this is an example of, you know, not only are people in oppression, hey, but animals in oppression. This is the Lord's creation under oppression, being experimented etc okay so you know uh so i just want to share that with y'all brothers lord when the lesson been edifying i'm gonna give all honor glory and praise to you how about shim y'all shabbat shimakakudash till next time i say shalom